1773. Sir John Jarvis, Admiral of the British fleet which routed the Spaniards at St. Vincent, watches the Union Jack being lowered. It's evening time for the Royal Marine ceremony of beating retreat. A guard stands on sentry duty as a detachment with drums and fifes moves out of the garrison to collect stragglers from the battlefield at the end of a day's fighting. But this time, the battlefield is a parade ground, the parade ground of the boys' training school, HMS St. Vincent at Gosport, while the Marines are really boy trainees. For the ceremony, performed in traditional dress for the first time, two uniforms of the period were borrowed from the Naval Museum Devonport so that replicas could be produced. The tailoring was carried out by women volunteers, including the boys' mothers. The origin of beating retreat is obscure, but the ceremony was one of the earliest to be instituted in the army. In those days, of course, the hours of darkness meant a halt in fighting until the next day. The ceremony was introduced to the Royal Navy by the Marines. Named after Sir John Jarvis, who was given the title Earl St. Vincent in honour of his triumph at the famous battle, the training establishment has maintained the high standard associated with his name since it was launched in 1927. Mother and child watched the boys proudly, but when the building was constructed in 1777, women and children weren't allowed near the place. It was built as a prison for traitors and pirates. Seventy years later, it was taken over by the Royal Marines Light Infantry. The boys were specially taught to march in this 18th century tight formation. Note the absence of arm swing and how the knuckles point to the front. Heads high, the cadets march on, instilling the spirit of youth into a ceremony that illustrates again the pageant of history.